Hello YouTube, I am Sai Haldas and today we will be looking at the anatomy or parts of a simple Java program. So let's get started. So any simple Java program would have this kind of a construct where it has couple of uh, keywords and then it has some user defined word followed by braces. So this is how a basic simple class looks like. And uh, inside this class braces, inside the body of the class, we write methods and in our example we wrote a main method and the main method or any other method has its own body and inside the body of the method is where we write our instructions in this case we wrote our print statement which basically is printing something on the console so let's take a deeper look at each and every keyword in this particular simple example so the word public just means that anybody can access this class when I say everybody it means that any code which has enough information about this class can access the class without any problem the keyword class just means that this piece of code is actually a Java class and this is just a name of the class you can have any name here generally programmers choose the most logical name which represents something of the business as the name of the class and we uh, open bracket this bracket marks the beginning of the class body and inside this we define methods and our method here starts with public the public here is saying that the this method can be accessed by anybody who is able to access the class without any problem and uh, the next word is static it's kind of a little in-depth subject so we'll skip, skip the static keyword for now and look at the return type void so raw void is nothing but a red, uh, one of the return types you can have any type or you can return an object type you can have int type boolean type here void is just saying that i'm not going to return anything it's just like saying that this method doesn't return anything it doesn't ret it returns a void value or it doesn't return anything it's the same thing so anybody who is calling this method do not expect any return value from this method so coming to main main is a special kind of method which is provided by java and uh, what this method does is whenever the program runs the first line of the this particular method is what gets executed so in other words uh, the execution starts with the first line of this particular method and uh, we have the arguments which are uh, here in this case are an array of strings so anybody who's calling this method passes on an array of string we'll co cover this array of string and the string more in, in the next coming sessions but that's all we have we need to know is just that the parameter and the parameter is an array of string and we have the open bracket which marks the beginning of the method and inside that we have our statements for now we are just printing the system out statement which we are requesting the program to print something on the console and uh, something that it needs to print on the console we are putting it in double quotes and every statement in java needs to end with a semicolon that is a syntactical check java is a strictly typed language and it expects a semicolon after every single statement and uh, since we opened the method we are closing the method here so anything that is within these two brackets defines the body of this method and uh, since we opened the class uh, body we are going to close the class body so this defines the whole class that ends our quick java tutorial i hope you found this exciting and interesting so follow along and uh, do subscribe to get more updates on Java tutorials. Thank you.